everybody this is sanjay today i am going to teach you the first chapter of geography from standard 7 our first chapter is environment after a long vacation when ravi started going to school again he noticed that the only playground next to his school was dug up people said that a huge building with many flats will be constructed here ravi was almost in tears when he realized that the, this big playground with its soft grass merry golds and butterflies is gone forever he shared his feelings with his classmates in the is in the assembly the principal too sadly observed see how our environment is changing us ravi asked his teacher what is environment whatever you see in your surroundings said the teacher it means that whatever you see in your surroundings is known as environment ravi thought and uh, thought, uh, sorry ravi thought aloud that means the school building tables chairs in the classroom even that open field the road garbage my friends all are parts of our environment yes said the teacher it means that these are included in the environment but wait some objects are created by nature for example mountain rivers trees animals others are made by people for example roads cars clouds books now work in pairs make a list with the classmate sitting next to you of creation of nature and by human beings you have to you have to do it by yourself ravi paramjit jc mustafa asha were all excited about making the list why asked ikwal it's all because of our needs they are we can see this is the components of environment natural human made this is human increasing day by day we there we are therefore modifying and at times even destroying our natural surroundings the teacher replied from the above conversation uh, sorry conversation yes conversation you understand that the place people things and nature that surround any living organism is called environment it means whatever you see in your uh, surroundings is known as environment and there are, there are two types one is natural and second one is man made it is a combination of natural and human made phenomena while the natural environment refers to both biotic and abiotic condition existing on the earth human environment reveals the activities creations and interactions among human beings now i have to i am going to tell you that what is biotic and abiotic biotic world of living organism those who are living organism is known as biotic for example plants and animals and those who are non living elements are called abiotic land mountain river now what is natural environment land water air plants and animals comprise the natural environment you are familiar with the meaning of lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere from your previous class let us learn some more facts about these domains you can write down in your copy lithosphere is a solid crust or hard top layer on the earth of the earth it is made of rocks and minerals and covered by a thin layer of soil it is an irregular surface with various landforms such as mountains plates plains valleys etc landforms are found over the continents and also on the ocean floors lithosphere is the domain that provides forest grasslands for grazing land for agriculture and human settle settlements it is also a source of mineral wealth so it is very 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 important domain which is lithosphere domains of the environment biosphere hydrosphere lithosphere atmosphere you can see in this figure the domain of water is referred to as hydrosphere it is comprised various sources of water and different types of water bodies like rivers lakes seas oceans sorry for interruption
The domain of water is referred to as the sources of water, different types of water bodies like rivers, lakes, seas, oceans, etc. It is essential for all living organisms. Next one is atmosphere. The atmosphere is the thin layer of air that surrounds the earth. The gravitational force of the earth holds the atmosphere around it. It protects us from harmful rays and scorching heat of the sun. It consists of number of gases, dust and water vapor. The changes in the atmosphere produce changes in the weather and climate. If there will be changes in the atmosphere, it will produce the changes in the weather and climate. Plant and animal kingdom together make biosphere or living world. It is narrow zone of the earth where land, water and air interact with each other to support life. Now I am going to tell you what is the ecosystem. You can see in the glossary that there is written it is a system formed by interaction of all living organisms which with each other and with physical and chemical factors of the environment in which they live all linked by transfer of energy and material. Now let us see what is ecosystem. At an NCC camp that Ravi's class was attending, Jesse exclaimed, what a heavy downpour. It reminds me of my home in Kerala. You should come and see how it pours and pours and pours over the lush green fields and coconut plantations. Hira from Jesmal, uh, Jesalmer exclaimed, we get no rains, we see only kikar and sand as far as the eyes can see, but you also find camels, said Rabi. Camels. Hira says, not just camels, if you visit our desert, you will see snakes, lizards and many insects too. Rabi wondered, why do the animals, vegetation and where the people live vary from place to place? Are they all related to each other? Oh yes, very much so, the teacher replied. It means that they are related. They are related and they are, they are very, they are varied from place to place and person to person. All plants, animals and human beings depend on their immediate surroundings. Often they are also interdependent on each other. This relation between the living organism as well as the relation between the organisms and their surroundings form an ecosystem. There could be an ecosystem of large rainforest, grassland, desert, mountain, lake, river, ocean and even a small pond. Now talk about, let us talk about what is human environment. Human beings interact with the environment and modify it according to their needs. Early human adapted themselves to the natural surroundings. They led a simple life and fulfilled their requirements from the nature around them. With time needs grew and became more varied, humans learn new ways to use and change environment. They learn to grow crops, domesticate animals and lead a settled life. Slowly, slowly they learned. The wheel was invented, wheel. Surplus food was produced, barter system was emerged, barter system. Trade started and commerce developed. Industrial revolution enabled large scale production. Transportation became faster. Information revolution made communication easier and speedy across the world. It, it happened only because of the human beings. Have you ever thought why you love eating a juicy watermelon in summer and hot roasted peanuts is necessary between the natural and human environment? Humans must learn to live and use their environment in a harmonious way. Nuri, a girl from Mizoram, from Robbie's class, often talks about the lush green surroundings of her place. Seeing the Robbie upset at having lost his playground, Nuri invited him to visit her home stead during the coming summer vacation. Robbie's teacher asked the students to draw landscape, houses, and activities of the people and places they visit during the holidays. Thank you very much. This is all about this topic. And uh, I would like to thank all the students who are watching right me, 
for watching me right now and uh, please subscribe my channel so that you can get notification of further videos thank you very much